and welcome to the Watches TV. We are now at the EPAG EPMT. This is a fair for all the suppliers uh, working in the industry of watchmaking, but also in the medical industry and very specialized in micro precision uh, engineering. Maybe uh, you ask yourself how it is possible in your watch to have some kind of light at night. Actually, it's a special material that is called Superluminova, but this is a brand material. And I am now with Mr. Albert Zeller, who is the son of the owner of Tritec, the company that provides this material. So can you tell me about this material? Because they are, you are the only one in Switzerland uh, to provide it. Yes. Well, our material is kind of a ceramic. It's fully produced in Switzerland, in Teufen, that's uh, in the region of Appenzell, to um, guarantee the Swiss watch market, fully Swiss produced luminous pigments, which uh, also helps like the Swiss watch industry to uh, keep their Swiss made it's non-radioactive like the luminous pigment was in the past so therefore we had to look out for a new material which my father found in China it's uh, based on the same material as Swiss Superluminova is at the moment he found out together uh, with our Japanese partners uh, from Nemoto it works kind of like a, a battery for light storage so by a UV light coming, coming up on the crystal it uh, helps the electrons in the crystal to go up on a higher level, a more energetical level, and it can be stored up on that level. By uh, thermal energy, let's say uh, heat which comes around the watch, the electrons can be lifted up a little bit and they fall back to the ground state. By this falling down, some energy gets lost and uh, this energy uh, is visible as light. Like basically, customers can choose between blue and green emission during nighttime, and on daytime, they're open to choose in between any color they want. Why is it important for you to be here at uh, this fair? Um, for us, it's important uh, because we're launching a new product line. It's called uh, Swiss Superluminova Grade X1. We worked on some parameters, some other small things, and we were able uh, to improve the material compared to the standard material. Uh, on the long term afterglow. For example, after 12 hours on a watch with 4 milligrams, which is kind of a average amount of luminous pigment on a watch, the afterglow performance can nearly be doubled compared to the standard material. And the idea behind it is to directly discuss with our customers, with people who are interested or might be interested in our materials, to show them possibilities, how to use our material and it always helps to be speaking with the people, to be showing them the things directly and not just writing emails. We're happy to supply like most of the Swiss watch industry with our luminous pigment. <laughs> 